Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to make myself a leather sheath for my Leatherman Reba. And this is actually my favorite Leatherman and multi-tool. I really love this thing. So right now the Leatherman Reba comes with a nylon sheath. Now this nylon sheath is great, it's robust and functional. It's also very secure. So yeah, it's awesome, but I gotta say I just, yeah, I like leather much better and this is why today I'm attempting to make myself a leather sheath and uh, as a leather sheath um, I want to make something similar like this one here this is a leather sheath that I've made for my Victorinox Outrider and it's a really awesome sheath um, it has two rivets here at the bottom and yeah, it's really awesome and I really like it and I want to make a sheath like this for the Leatherman Reba. So the Leatherman Reba actually almost fits into this sheath here. Hold on, let's do it like this. So it goes down into here. Okay, so actually I could use the sheath for the Leatherman, but it's a little bit too big. So actually, um, actually the Leatherman is shorter than my Victorinox. Look at this. But it's a little bit wider. So I have to adjust the sheath for the Leatherman. So this is the template that I've used for the Victorinox Outrider. And now I'm going to copy it and make a few um, adjustments and then yeah, I will try uh, to make a good template for the Leatherman Reba. Okay, so these are my changes. I made the back side a little bit broader, wider. Then here, the main pocket a little bit shorter. And I made a few adjustments down here so that the Leatherman has more space on the bottom. And yeah, now let's cut this out and put it on leather.
Okay, today I want to use the color light brown. Uh, it's by the company Fabings and it's a leather dye. Okay, next I want to put on some gel antique. Okay guys, so the leather pouch is done. Here is the final result. I think it looks awesome with the belt loop cut into the bag. Here are two rivets. Snaps open like this. And now comes the moment of truth. Then here you always have to press down the two uh, securities so you can get it in and now it's inside I think the pouch has the perfect size also it does not fall out by itself so it has enough of friction to hold the letterman And it closes like this. So it has a little bit of headspace, but not too much. And that's perfect. So now I need to finish up the edges here and I do that by taking some beeswax and I just rub it onto the edges and this will make the edges blend together and then it looks like one solid surface. So first the beeswax and then I have this burnishing tool and I just go over the edge like this and then you can see a huge difference it just takes some time to do this but at the end the outcome will look really awesome yeah and some folks also color the edge a little bit darker than the pouch itself 
which is also looking great so you can do that if you want but yeah i think i just gonna leave it like this i think the color looks really awesome so yeah i'm really happy with my new leather pouch and i cannot wait to wear it on my belt thank you for watching guys and stay tuned till next time